peeps, what's poppin'? It's your boy from Cancer Moose Tarot. It's not even just the peeps, it's the Aquarius. What's poppin', baby? It's your boy from Cancer Moose Tarot going at you guys with your January 2019 love tarot reading. All right, let's see what's poppin' for my sun, moon, rising, and Venus Aquarius. Hopefully, you guys are doing fantastic. If so, let me know down in the comments down below, all right? Keep in mind, this read is general. It may apply, it may not. If it does, that's amazing. If not, it's not your message. Feel free to check out any other amazing tarot readers that we got here on YouTube. Also, feel free to check out the description box below. I have my instant go, my Instagram, and my Twitter out there if you want to drop a follow and check any of those things out, okay? Let's take a look and see what's happening. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, January 2019. What messages do we got coming in between you and whoever you are dealing with? Last shuffle. What's popping with the Aqua, baby, okay? Aquarius, mutual energy between you and another person, King of Cups. It's all talking about love, but I almost feel as if you may be contemplating right now, is this the partner that I necessarily want to be with? Because you see the Ace of Cups here, but at the same time, that's a contemplating that's a contemplating face. Hmm, should I be with this person? Do I want to be with this person? I'm not too sure. Maybe you both are contemplating where this relationship is heading or where this love is heading. Let's take a look and dive a little bit deeper, okay? Now, in regards to who you're connecting with here, Three of Pentacles, yep. Somebody else who may be willing to make it work, but at the same time, Seven of Wands, you're restricting yourself from a different individual right now. So it's already two people that are not on the same plane of resonation. You're in a period of time, Aquarius, where you are blocking this other person out. And whoever this is you're connecting with, I need to clarify the three of um pentacles real quick before i proceed further just to make sure it's not a third party situation so clarifying the three of pentacles and the princess of swords yeah so there's other people whoever you're connecting with here they are communicating conversating speaking with other people um unfortunately that aren't necessarily just you so this person you're connecting with here aquarius um they are in a period of time where they are talking to other people so you're not the only one you're involved with um i already feel like the ace of swords moment happened that truth kind of arise and abruptly arise to you and when you found out that truth seven of wands you restrict yourself from them because if you're not going to be committal to me then what's the point of me even being anywhere near invested in you right so you are sitting there contemplating should i even offer love to this person when i caught them doing something that was pretty distasteful as for the outcome that's present four of cups you ignore this person you restrict yourself from this person as they are in a period of time of talking to other individuals okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go over their feelings your feelings where the energies are aligning and the outcome for the month of january now in regards to who you're connecting with here let's take a look at their energy aquarius sun moon rising of venus january 2019 all right. In regards to who you're connecting with here, two of pentacles in reverse to the five of cups in reverse. They're in a period of time where they're very focused on moving forward and moving out of the cycle on top of the queen of swords and the four of swords. Whoever it is you're dealing with Aquarius, it feels as if they're ghosting and they're out, okay? And I don't mean to give you guys any sort of negativity, but even the five of swords is coming out, baby. This is a person that turned their back on you. They walked away from you and they did you kind of dirty, okay? Now keep in mind, people this can resonate vice versa if it don't resonate at all don't make it apply okay so this could be vice versa this could be the aquarius and this could be the other person whatever way it resonates okay so aquarius whoever this is you're dealing with though from my point of view um this person had ghosted you they had left you they had turned their back on you completely and had moved on quite quickly like nothing ever even happened okay this is the kind of energy in which this makes you feel some type of way and this is why you restrict yourself because you don't want to feel any negativity coming from this person so you instantly backed off you caught a negative vibe and you dipped and that's good that's why you restrict yourself because you saw what this person was doing in regards to your energy here aquarius let's take a look sun moon rising and venus signs and also king of wands by the way you probably had some suspicions about this person too in regards to your energy here aquarius let's take a look sun moon rising and venus january 2019 so you're catching a vibe that whoever this is you're dealing with is just talking to other people um, and doing things that aren't necessarily, you know, great. And you know what? You know what's crazy, too? You're in this energy with the full card to the two of cups to the two of swords. It's like you are actively choosing to be with this person. This is someone you wanted to have a relationship with and you wanted to keep a relationship with. And I'm seeing that you're in the spirit of time where this is someone you love. You see them as the world. You see them as everything for you. So when you look at this person, you absolutely love who they are and you wanted to stay with them and be with them. Ten of cups, you've them as a soulmate too so this is what's so unfortunate hierophant at the bottom of the deck this is what's so unfortunate because you with the two of swords were actively freely expressing your free will to choose to be with this person but now that you find out that they were doing all this stuff behind your back and that truth comes out now you have to restrict yourself and also you know in this period of time too it doesn't mean you're not feeling pain you may be restricting yourself to hide the pain that you may be feeling but you are feeling pain aquarius you are unfortunately three swords you are feeling the pain because this person did this to you. And when they walked away from you and were conversing with other people, this is something that left you heartbroken. Okay? Let me see what else fell out of here. The death card as well. Yeah. 
left. So things have changed. And um, I don't feel like that you know you really wanted this change because this change I feel was very abrupt. I feel like you guys were at this stage. You were at Ten of Cups and then out of nowhere, boom, it went to the abrupt ending to the Three of Swords. So this person definitely hurt you in ways that you can't really describe, which is why you are now isolating yourself with the Seven of Wands, okay? Excuse me. Now, in regards to why this person did it, from what I can see and from what I can only see, the only reason why this person had left you, as I feel, is because it was another individual. It was a third party, okay? And I don't usually read third party. I don't like to, you know, put third party out there all the time. But this is the true, like, formation of a third party situation. I'm seeing that they're talking to other individuals, okay? Now, Aquarians, I don't want to give you a bad reading. And I feel like you guys may not like me that much um, because I don't ever really have the best readings for Aquarius. But I don't have any negative vibes towards any zodiac sign, especially Aquariuses. I got, like, my one of my best friends is an Aquarius. I love Aquarius. Um, I just feel as if, you know, lately these are the energies that I see around you, unfortunately, okay? Now, keep in mind, though, this person may have walked out of your life and they may have been speaking to other people and chose another individual, whatever have you. And I know that you're going through this this hurt, okay? People say Aquariuses are emotionless. You're not. You're not emotionless at all. You know how to hide them very well, but you're, you're very well feeling the Three of Swords, okay? But what you need to know and acknowledge is that even though you saw this person as your soulmate and you were going to give them the world, to put it bluntly, they're not. Because your soulmate or your true love partner would never do this to you. So don't ever sit there and settle for this person or settle for a, uh, what's the word for it? Um, like, what, do you, what, what, would you, what would you call a soulmate? I don't know why I'm blanking right now. I'm sorry. Um, a label. Thank you. Don't settle for a label, okay? doesn't matter if you feel like this person's your soulmate or you feel like this person's your twin flame. Don't settle for a label. Because the way they, tra the way they treat you is all that should matter, okay? Now... In regards to where the energies are aligning, let's take a look here. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, January 2019. Let's see where things are going between you and this person. So there is an abrupt ending coming um, for you guys, and I am seeing a big split happening between you two. Um, you are going to restrict yourself. You are going to stay very isolated into yourself as the other person is going to be talking to other people. Okay? Now, in regards to where the energies are aligning, um, I am seeing that things are going to be okay for you because you're already going to end up coming into alignment with new love, which is good. Ten of Pentacles to the Wheel of Fortune. There's nothing to worry about. Your mental stability or your mental state right now may have been in a lower vibration, but your mental state is moving into something so much better. You're going to find stability within yourself because the moment you stay restricted from this person and you give it a, you give it a rest and you give yourself some time, your mind, your thoughts and all that stuff, your energy is just going to be really, really, really lifted. So don't even worry about it, Aquarius, okay? The Wheel of Fortune, of course, always in ties to karma. This person you were connecting with was a karmic connection. It was a karmic relationship. You'll note and acknowledge that there was many lessons that you had to learn there, whether you needed more self-love for yourself, whether you needed and more respect for yourself whatever the lesson is it will differ for every relationship but you will come to the realization of whatever lesson it was that you needed to learn about this person so that you don't manifest into that relationship with a similar like person okay moving forward into these energies six of pentacles to the ace of cups you're going to be finding somebody and they're coming into alignment with you as well in which a person will openly give and receive genuine love with you as this is a new love offer a new love partner that's entering your life so right now where these energies are aligning the other person found a new love and they're moving towards a new love but that's going to be the same thing for you because as you are walking away from this person and healing from this person because i'm seeing the healing is going to come quite quickly so don't worry about that you may be feeling this heartbreak it's going to pass very quickly for you aquarius okay as you are going to find a new love moving into 2019 as for the overall outcome between you and this person let's take a look january 2019 boom Queen of Wands, all the way to the Nine of Pentacles. That's it. You both are going to be single from one another, and you both are going to be out there, putting yourself out there, meeting new people, and expressing new love to other individuals. But you know what's so beautiful about this, though, Aquarius? Because with the Nine of Pentacles energy being present, too, you're going to be in a period of time where you're going to be feeling more confident than you've ever felt in your entire life. You're going to be out there being a magnet to other people. You're going to be out there getting more people than you've ever experienced that want to be with you, which is beautiful because when you are confident, when you are shining, everybody around you wants to be with you you're glowing okay by the end of this you're going to be glowing because you're understanding that they this person wasn't for me this person's not for me as i let this person go and as i move forward with my life and embrace who i am then more people are going to see the real me whereas this person did not see the real me okay so as for that outcome i am seeing that you'll be attracting a lot more people in your energy field as well as boosting your confidence and like i said you'll be chasing new love finding new love and finding a partner that will be giving openly receiving and giving love okay aquarius so don't worry about this too much guys i know that this is a little bit of a heavy reading i know that it's not you know your cup of tea or the greatest thing in the world but please 
work with it. Work with the energies, okay? Allow yourself to go through the hurt. Allow yourself to go through the pain. When you get through it, you're going to come out much better than you've ever been before, okay? Aquarius, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If it resonates, let me know down in the comments down below. If it ain't your reading, don't apply it to yourself, and it can resonate vice versa as well. Have a great one, guys, and I will see you for your mid-monthlies, all right? Peace.